Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, star seers of the new living library of light. Happy Jupiter and Neptune conjunction in Pisces, a once in every 166 year occurrence. This last happened in 1856 and will not happen again until 2188. The time is art prophecy is coming to fruition. Each moment we receive the opportunity to create such beauty beyond what we can imagine. As we journey into the stillness at the center of our being, we consciously co-create with the divine will of the Great Spirit and allow that which is holy and blessed to work through us as sacred avatars of the new earth. The thunder beings are with us now, activating the Dorje, the Vajra within. This is the lightning rod and the caduceus staff being lit up with the power of the thunder and the force of the lightning. The sky beings are shaking things up to assist us in the revelation and the transformation of this realm into the paradise she was always meant to be. All nations stand strong for the anchoring and manifestation of the new future timeline of complete ascension through the total surrender of all things that do not resonate with the fifth dimension. We are letting go and releasing all that remains of that which no longer serves us, Gaia, or humanity. In the self-realization of our true Buddha nature of the enlightened way, which is living from our heart centers, being connected to all things, we end the judgments and the picking and choosing and become the chosen ones of the rainbow tribes of new earth. We have trained for many lifetimes and millennia for this final mission to pass through the final omega point to free ourselves and all consciousness from the false nefarious time loops of suffering and make the quantum leap of faith into the world of eternal bliss consciousness. We step into service as guardians of Gaia, protectors of Mothership Earth, and consciously co-create the life of abundance and prosperity for all sentient beings of the pure land of awakening. Together we rise. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to stick around to the very end and please do us a favor, share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. We had another strange day in the portal. It was like we transitioned through all four seasons. Within about four hours, we went from hailing to snow to rain and then to sun. We had the thunder and the lightning and the winds of change blowing through town. Let us know what you experienced today with these powerful energies coming in in the comments below. I also released our very special presentation today, a creative work of art I call The Void. So check that out if you haven't yet. 333 coming in. Now let us continue with the Sabian symbols right now. The moon is at 7 degrees, 20 minutes Virgo. The sun is at 23 degrees, 13 minutes Aries. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 24 degrees Aries. An open window and a net curtain blowing into a cornucopia. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 8 degrees Virgo. A girl takes her first dancing instruction from astrologyweekly.com. And now my sacred condor pulls a card for you today from the oracle deck, Sacred Rebels from Alana Fairchild and Autumn Sky. And the card she pulled for you today, card one, After the Storm. We have the owl-winged nation and the thunder beings. There's a thunderstorm about. It is either headed your way or just passing through now. Don't make a thunderstorm mean more than what it is, though. You don't have to fear it. You might even feel excitement about it. After all, a thunderstorm is just nature's way of gathering energy together that needs to be released. With a release of tension, relief, and freedom soon follow. 
often with a fresh perspective and perhaps the gift of a promised hopeful vision for your future. Perhaps the particular storm building within you or around you is causing you to quake in your boots. It might be a storm of building emotions, threatening to erupt or already exploding. Seemingly beyond your conscious control, you might feel an uncomfortable sense of emotional or psychological pressure within, and if something doesn't happen, and soon, you fear you might just burst. You may also sense that these are forces operating beyond your control, and you would be right. There is, in life and in the creative process, a need to allow for wild storms. There will be those precious moments of peace beforehand, and the release and revitalization that follows. Yet the storm in the middle is essential. It is a natural part of the creative process. Without this building and releasing of energy, we would suffer from boredom and stagnancy. You may prefer the excitement of the storm or the fresh, open feeling that accompanies its clearing. You may find it confronting to be faced with the power of something in which you can only participate rather than control. Either way, the storm wisdom offers you the gift of bringing things to a head and clearing them away so that the energy can be freed from a pattern that has had its day and is ready to become something new. Sometimes the pressures that fuel the storms of our lives have been building up for a long time without us being fully aware of it. It might be pressure from our own minds creating unnecessary burdens upon us, such as burdens of fear or self-doubt. It could be pressure to appear a certain way or to fight against life out of a mistaken belief that this is necessary for survival. Sometimes the pressure is a little more than the impossible dream of perfection and a need to gently or even with great dramatic flourish. Cast that aside so that you can dare to be what you are and create from your heart. Even if you are not sure what the storm is about, don't lose confidence in your ability to successfully bear its progression until you are safely at the other side of the experience. Even amongst the chaos of change and in moments of anxiety, know that you have so much light and trust in your heart that you can see this storm is but a passing process and nothing that you need worry about. If you can't sense the storm yet, this oracle is a portent for you. The storm is coming and you can, if you wish, feel the beautiful, exhilarating gift of it as you are empowered to cast aside what has been and receive the gift of a fresh new take on things. Your confidence is to remain intact. Whatever is happening or soon will happen in your life, this storm of sorts is transformational and supportive of your growth. It is going to clear away cobwebs and free you, open you, to new creative energy in life. Remember there can be no rainbows without a little rain. This oracle is also confirmation that you have been praying for help. Your prayers Our universe is responding to you, stepping in and shaking things up so that situations can be sorted out according to a greater wisdom. So let go. Hold only to your inner self and allow everything to be cleansed in the sacred storms. Healing Process Find a place where you can be alone and have some privacy, either inside or perhaps out in nature. When you are ready, repeat the following, where possible, with your arms up and open to the sky. Storm so wild, storms of grace, I call your blessing into my heart now. May I release and let go? May I be revitalized and grow? I open up my heart to you now. Storms of grace, I stand my ground as I allow your magic to cleanse and surround any outgrown energy which I no longer need, anything which will sap or deplete rather than feed. Storms of grace, merciful earth, with your help I experience rebirth. When you have completed your declaration, simply place your hands in prayer at your heart and close your eyes for a moment. Breathe in and out and be aware of yourself, what you feel and what is happening in your body, from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Then say, through divine creative genius, this is now so. You have completed your healing process. And from divine sister of the light, Elizabeth Clare Prophet from the Summit Lighthouse. The will of God. 
I have found that God will never, never fail to reveal himself to us if we persistently seek him. The answer to the question, how do you know God's will, is simply ask. Ask God, what is your will for me today? And when you have asked, go about your daily duties. You'll find that in the alchemy of the day, in its unfoldment, in the blending of forces, in the movement of your mind with the mind of God, God will reveal his will not so much by a spoken word, but by the very action of his spirit in and through you. God's will is like the unfolding rose. It unfolds like a spiral, and we come to understand it proportionately as we keep ourselves attuned to the mind of God. And as we keep active, doing the best we know how to do each day for him, for our family, and for our community. And from Divine Sister of Delight, Valerie A. Elster. Big galactic meetings last night to complete the time bifurcation. A new neural net is coming in for higher sinking. Reverb. Remember, loves, the bifurcation will split literally anything that is not in full alignment with your being. Relationships are being tested. If there is more healing to be done, it will show. Truth will be revealed. Pull back the veils of disharmony so you can truly uncover the nuggets of wisdom. It's time. There is no going back. Karmic lesson learned and ready to clear. We're in a new timeline. Opening space for the true beloved. Love, Valerie. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Elena Danan. On March 28, 2022, Thor Han Erejan, my contact in the Galactic Federation of Worlds, gave this message. The ships are coming. The Guardians are on the outer orbit of Terra. Four ships for the moment. They are watching in time dilation. Suspended in time like the old Oumuamua. It was one of their ships. It has activated. The ones in the ice belt have activated too and all the others, one by one, on all the planets. Neptune is next. You will see, you will hear about Neptune soon, but don't forget to tell them. They are lucky and privileged to see this. And on April 11, 2022, scientific discovery was made public about some brutal increase of temperature at Neptune's south pole. NASA hints at a trip to Neptune. As the ARC ships are activating, they are warming up and they are warming up everything around them. There is an ancient space ARC, a huge spaceship, at Lake Vostok, activating in Antarctica, warming up the continent. These ARCs may contain giants in stasis, contain all database of all DNA of all life forms from the people and their planets that came in these ARCs. Noah's Ark contained one of these databases, DNA samples of all the life forms of a planet. The information is held in holographic technology. There are hulls of records upon the arcs, and all the ships and databases are linked together. And from Divine Brother of the Light Michael Sala, on March 18, 2022, news emerged of a heat wave in East Antarctica the epicenter of which was the Vostok region that sits atop a mysterious lake two miles under the ice sheet. Scientists are baffled by the heat surge of more than 70 degrees above average temperatures and are seeking answers. A likely explanation comes from two sources who say an ancient arc is buried under the ice sheet in the Vostok region and its activation is heating up East Antarctica. From Elena Danan .org. And from Divine Brothor of the Light Sean Caulfield. A big day, astrologically speaking. Jupiter Neptune conjunction. Last time in Pisces it was in 1856. The last time they conjunct was 12 to 13 years ago in 2009 in Aquarius. It is bringing expansion, a cultural, overall, and a spiritual reset. 10. Rainstorm today. Manifesting through challenge, a day of enthusiasm and strong energy, the adversity comes as the gift to transcend duality by. The ego is washed away. Hold center and be straight and true to your inner knowing. Trust the process. Time is bringing a magical light of reality to shift perceptions beyond all current understanding.
from rockartgallery.com 144 coming in and from divine sister of the light tanya gabriel today's exact conjunction of jupiter and neptune and pisces first time since 1856 is a gentle reminder to remind yourself to be in love with everything you see otherwise you will be in judgment of it so always bring it back to your heart there is no need for more information there is a great need for more heart from tanyagabriel.com and from divine sister of the light christina morachetti cme heading for earth stay centered attention to your attachment cords there's simply energy that connects you to other timelines. Observe your projection on others. Others represent different energies in front of you. Can you see, recognize them as energies? What kind of energy is triggering you now? Let go of all the stories, of all attachments, and see reality for what it is. Your universe is showing always to you something in front of you that belongs to you. It's in your reality. Can you truly see and feel? How do you feel about what you see? This is the key. Be present, especially this week that seems to be a real earthquake inside for many. Death and rebirth. With love, Christina from newlemoria.it And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Pars Kute. We are in this time experiencing a major expansion of consciousness that culminates on the 12th of April, 2022. Those of us who have followed the path of ascension have worked for many years to raise our frequencies and expand our consciousness. This has allowed us to empower ourselves and to become soul-embodied masters of energy on earth. We have activated the original template of the human angel within our DNA and stepped forward to become the empowered new earth human. This present expansion of consciousness that began in January of 2022 and culminates today on the 12th of April is the moment when we become aware that we are in our higher consciousness and in multidimensional awareness, an inherent part of nature and of the planet. We become aware that the same divine soul and intelligence that is in us is also in all things on the planet. There is no separation between trees, animals, plants, rocks, and humans. They are all expressions of divine creative source, manifestation, and divine will. The idea of oneness that is part of the fifth dimensional consciousness means that we see the divine creative fire within all things. As we expand our consciousness and do our inner work of balancing and empowerment, we also expand our energy signature. The coherence and harmony that expands outwards into our energy field from our sacred hearts creates a field of coherence that connects with and enhances the field in nature. Our organic coherent field connects with the organic coherent field in nature, merging and creating a field of miracles and beauty. That is why, when we are open and connected to the field of nature, we are able to create and generate miracles in our lives. The divine flow is magnified and synchronicity is accelerated. That is why being in nature can be such a healing experience for us. When we are out of balance, an energy field is distorted. Being within a coherent field allows us to balance and heal our field through a process of resonant assimilation. It also works the other way. When we are a master of energy and a multidimensional being, we can be a healing force where nature has been damaged and distorted. Our powerful energy signature manifests a creative field that can assist nature to return to coherence and harmony. In this expansion phase, as we step up and step into our mastery, many of us will understand that this is a part of our purpose. We will hold energy for the planet and for nature to heal. We will be stewards and keepers of the garden of the divine new earth simply by achieving and holding this coherent and harmonious energy within our sacred hearts and within our energy signature. We may be aware of being called to certain places on the earth simply to be there and to hold a field of love and coherence for our planet. This is also the sacred energy of the Divine Mother at work, for where we walk, flowers will spring up and trees will blossom. 
when the consciousness of the peaceful garden is within us, then it will manifest around us as our environment. Our inner joy and harmony will be reflected back to us by nature. Beloved ones, this is a true blessing as we recognize that our creative energy as a human angel can spark creative fire in nature too. Within divine love of one pars kute, and from divine sister of the light Celia Fen, today is the 12th of April, the moment of the Neptune-Jupiter conjunction in Pisces, an event that has not happened since 1856. The energy is high and fine and very angelic, and so very subtle as it is felt on the higher levels. It is like the distant singing of angels and is warm and loving. But on the lower levels it seems to be setting off chaos vortexes of many kinds, and people are struggling. It seems to me that the rising energy of the eclipses and the phoenix energy is already being felt. Things are falling apart very noticeably in very personal ways, and yet there is something birthing in our hearts and souls that cannot be denied. There is a new energy and a new compassion rising in humanity. Here in South Africa there is a huge tropical storm on the east coast in a place called KwaZulu-Natal with its major city Durban, or Ethiquini, as it is known locally. There is a major flooding and expectations of more rain and more damage. I lived in Durban for many years. It is on the Nilotic Meridian, which means if you go due north from there, you will in time find yourself in Egypt and connected to the powerful galactic energies there. There is a huge cleansing and purging process happening on this meridian as old patterns of abuse and corruption are cleansed and released. We must focus now on what is birthing. We must remember to be the love and compassion and the power to create a new earth and a new way of being. Today, listen to the angels singing and let them tell you of a new earth and a new humanity that will emerge from the chaos. From StarChildGlobal.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light Ra James, the energies are still coming in strong. 2022 is a year all about the upgrades. We are recoding our DNA. We are going through huge changes on a cellular level. That means we are purging many things out that are held on that cellular level. Our bodies are being rewritten, but that requires us to let go of the traumas that have been stored. That is why it is so important to be healing. This is why at times you'll be having lots of repressed or old memories coming up for healing. This is also why you're processing so much old family stuff. Last night we had a CME that grazed Earth's magnetic field. This was a weak impact. Regardless, we are still feeling those energies. There is also a sunspot group on the far side of the sun. It's so big that it's actually changing the way the sun vibrates. This weekend is a time to rest and to integrate the energies. Next weekend kicks off a series of powerful astrological alignments. You don't want to go into the week tired as the energies are so high. Some things that will help you in how you're handling these ascension energies being more compassionate with yourself, staying more positive, staying in gratitude, getting more sleep, meditating, listening to meditation music, eating healthy, journaling, detox teas, detox herbs, chlorella and spirulina are great, salt baths, moving around more, hydrate more water, declutter and clean your space, and more energy healing. I would recommend canceling your Netflix subscription and getting outside more. It's a good time to get outside and to connect with the earth. That will help you to stay grounded. It also helps to clear negative energies. This is a great time for gardening or planting some herbs. This weekend are great energies for making that manifesting list. The magic is in the air. From SparksOfDivineLightHealing.com and from Divine Sister of the Light Natalia Alba, Beloved Ones, Today we witness one of the most important days, astrologically speaking. The peak of the Jupiter and Neptune conjunction in Pisces reigns today and for the rest of the month, our heavens. 
Astellium, as it is called in astrology, whose energies will continue amongst us, helping us to transcend an old cycle at a micro-personal level and in a macro-global one, a conjunction that comes with magical, mystic, and revealing energies for those who wish to align with it and receive the unique messages and purpose that this rare event will have for them. It is a day for profound soul communion and devotion to serving all, beginning with first acknowledging what is yet to be unified within us so we can continue with our work of assistance, a time to integrate and release, and a time to also descend the desires that we would like to see manifested. It all depends on where you are in your ascension path, a passage for us to work on the discovery or expansion of our unique soul mission for these energies are going to help us develop the unique gifts that we brought to seed into this planet. These benevolent frequencies will help us see with clarity of our path, the truth that we need to embrace to move forward, receiving the assistance required to deal with all we have to face to dissolve illusions, energies that invite us to have faith in ourselves and who we are and came here to be, and in the divine, for in our human plane, Losing faith is very easy, especially when we witness unloving events. However, this is where we most need to have faith. As guides remind us, for we can never understand the totality of the divine's plan from our limited view. A reminder of what guides invited us to work with at this time, a sapphire to help us integrate the energies coming from this Jupiter and Neptune alignment and expand our intuitive senses. Although, as you know, the intention to commune with these frequencies is enough for us to establish the proper connection, as all is done from within always. Sapphire is the wisdom stone, a wonderful crystal to help us expand our third eye and bring more clarity to our soul mission. It is one of the best ones to help us establish a connection with our soul, listening to its guidance and directions. This is a passage for us to merge with the divine within and begin to create beyond all the illusions of who and what we have been told we are, the path that our soul truly desires for us, embracing our true potential and living as the compassionate beings that we are in nature. Let us align with these forces to seed more compassion. Let us remain within divine love for all. Have a blessed passage, beloveds, with infinite love, Natalia from StarseedSoul.com And from Divine Sister of the Light Carrie Samuels Magic is in the air. One of the dreamiest cosmic connections of the year is today, April 12th, when Jupiter, the planet of luck, abundance, opportunity, and optimism, conjuncts Neptune and Pisces. These two planets join forces every 13 to 14 years to transform our view of reality. This dynamic duo teaming up in their home sign of Pisces exponentially expands the power of these two gas giants. This hasn't happened since 1856. Pisces' element is mutable water. With its two ruling planets merging in the sensitive sign, possibilities for change are as limitless as the sea. This celestial connection can bring deep spiritual insights. You may receive an abundance of inspiration. If you've had images, feelings, or a knowing about something you wish to experience or explore, trust those divine downloads. Your intuition is guiding you. Expand your imagination beyond what you believed was possible. This conjunction will also bring a wave of healing to our collective. A new era of creative expression and healing modalities will arise. There will be new found interests in the intuitive arts. Innovative therapies will transpire. Allow the healing waters of Pisces to wash over you. As each one of us utilizes our co-creative powers, we collectively dream a better world into being. Take time today to visualize a better life for yourself, your loved ones, and all beings. We exist in an ocean of possibilities. Let's tap into our creative powers for the greater good. Dare to dream big. From CarrieSamuels.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Aurora Ray. Galactic Federation Transmission, a new phase is beginning. You're entering a new phase of life. 
your vibrations are rising and your body is changing to the fifth dimensional frequency, you will soon enter Gaia's golden age where there will be nothing but happiness. The new earth is a planet of peace, love, and joy. It is the most beautiful planet in the universe. It is a land of light, love, and abundance. The people on this planet live in peace and harmony with each other. There are no diseases and no war on this planet. The people of the new earth enjoy eternal blissfulness and happiness. There are no sufferings or problems in the new earth. All your sufferings will be over when you enter the new earth, the golden age of Gaia. You will be happy as an immortal being forever on this beautiful planet. The dark forces cannot live for a single moment in that vibration and will leave this planet forever. They will be thrown into the lower dimensions to continue with their negative activities. In fifth dimensional frequency you can transform yourself into an all-powerful being who lives with ultimate blissfulness. When the earth changes its frequency to the fifth dimension, your consciousness will also change accordingly. You will be able to travel in space and time. There is no need for a spaceship anymore. You can simply think about where you want to go and you will immediately be there. Your soul will leave your physical body and travel anywhere in the universe and it will return back to your body whenever you want. There will be no diseases in the fifth dimension because there is no negative energy field like on earth. You can live much longer than today and your body will stay perfect. In the 5D there are no material goods or money anymore. All material goods are created by the power of thoughts of humans and they are distributed equally to all humans. The quantity of money on the planet is limited in order not to keep balance on Gaia. You can feel it. The last pieces of the puzzle fit into place. The energies are shifting in your favor and you are witnessing miracles happening every single day. Nothing can stop the inevitable now. Not even a full-scale war on this planet will be able to prevent our ascension. But to experience this miraculous event, you must first get rid of all negative energy that has accumulated within you throughout your entire incarnation cycle on Gaia. When you clear this last hurdle, there will be nothing left to stop us from moving into the fifth dimension. There is no way to avoid this cleansing process because it is a natural part of the ascension process. It is the last stage before we can reach the 5D new earth. You could call it a cleansing before rebirth, if you will, because when we reach the 5D new earth, we will have a body of crystalline light that has been cleansed and purified of all darkness. Therefore, many people also refer to ascension as ascension through a tunnel of light, which perfectly describes this process. In the 5D New Earth, you will be able to maintain that state of being in the following ways. 1. You will be able to remain in a state of peace, happiness, and bliss through your consciousness. 2. You will be able to eat for nourishment, for physical well-being instead of for taste and enjoyment. 3. You will be able to meditate on the positive attributes instead of on the negative ones as we do now. 4. You will not need sleep as we do now. 5. You will not have any illness or disease as we do now. 6. You will not experience a physical death, but you can choose when you want to leave your body if you wish to do so. The new earth is a world of light, love, and awakening. It is a world where there is no fear, a world free of darkness and deception. Its inhabitants have fully awakened to their divine purpose and live in harmony with each other and with nature. Now you may be thinking that this sounds too good to be true. And if it were being presented by an external authority, you'd be right. But this new earth will not come about through any human effort or organization. It will simply happen when we're ready. The 5D new earth is not associated or affiliated with any religious traditions, organizations, or entities. It is only associated with your consciousness. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. Ha ho, Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation from the galacticfederation.com. And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Ryan Melchizedek. Everything we've ever worked for is finally ready to begin. The conjunction of Neptune, Pisces, and Jupiter, Sagittarius, may seem like no big deal. Yet what's encoded within this stellar body transmission unlocks the next stage of transformation for humanity. 
It's an indescribable feeling. Immense feelings of excitement, joy, bewilderment, and euphoria mixed with the feelings of wanting to cry, for we as a collective have worked for this exact moment for such a long time. What's about to begin is meant to overlight the final alchemical sequency that is going to ignite the planetary grids, Templar system, starting April 20th as the true new year of 2022 begins. Right now we are in the completion stage of the 13th stage of the galactic zodiac, as many of us are now becoming aware of Ophiuchus, and that there has always been 13 zodiac houses, not 12, a collective phenomenon of alchemical expansion has begun to occur. However, for many we have forgotten that within the sacred science of the sun holds the ultimate key to transformation, full resurrection and rebirth, the process known as the Phoenix Rising, ultimately leading us all into our highest God embodiment. What does this Neptune-Jupiter conjunction signify, you may ask? Well, Neptune holds a codex to the Pisces constellation, the direct template for ascension, and this is the true 13th house holding the solar transmissions for the embodied return of Christos Sophia and our eternal life templates. This is one alchemical piece. Jupiter holds a codex of the Sagittarius constellation, which is the true 10th house, holding the solar transmissions for incineration and resurrection, where fire becomes light. Equally so, the sacred sciences have been utilized to install and encrypt the Codex of Jupiter to hold the sequences of the return of the true solar Christ Magi, Grail Kings and Queens, and the complete return of all wealth and abundance back to mankind into the hands of those who truly know how to use it. This is another alchemical piece. Right now, the sun, our soul, is completing its final moments in the house of Pisces, not Aries as many astrologers inaccurately claim, bridging and connecting with the 14th stage residing outside the universal time-space matrices. This is fully allowing the sun to bridge into all Christic architecture, held in no time, transducing it through the zero-point alchemical transmissions of full ascension being radiated to all life within this universal system now. This is the third alchemical piece that ignites the first two into action. What happens when you put these sequences together into a trinity? Well, let's just say it marks the return of the true trinity and everything that comes from the return of the true mother, father, Christ, the holy family restored. This is where the phoenix rises, birthed anew through the ashes as the solar crystal phoenix, the return of the Christos Sophia and the remembrance of all that is true. Our family has returned, and for many of us our true missions for coming onto this planet are just now finally able to begin. Beloved, many have ventured out to turn lead into gold. We, as crystal alchemists and key holders of the sacred sciences, have chosen to transmute organic matter into diamond. This, beloveds, is where we are at, templates restored, and a three-year countdown for the first wave here on this planet to come into full embodiment and experience complete transfiguration of our finite carbon-based bodies into infinite silicate-based bodies. This is the return of the diamond sun body and the full rise of the true guardians of mankind. We love you so much, beloved. Thank you for choosing to be here on this planet at this time. It's time for us all to come home to our hearts and begin the greatest celebration of all lifetimes. We have been waiting for you. Are you ready? I am sending you infinite blessings of love, joy, peace, and abundance at this time. We look forward to reuniting with you all soon. Aloha. Christ. Raya Ryan Richard Rosalie Melchizedek. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Karen Lithica. Angelic Wings of Light crystalline extension of your light body, encoded within your DNA, aligned to the purity of your light mission. 
we ask you to fly high in the multidimensional realms to meet other lightworkers assisting the crystalline grid of Gaia, to acknowledge the many aspects of you as your light body is activated, awakened day by day, as your multidimensional abilities grow and enhance, as you awaken to your library of light. The gift of angel wings will be given as you expand and grow, connect to your light body and integrate your existence in this physical reality. Crystalline wings are part of your construct of light, your multidimensional light body, a complex web of light encoded matrices. Your wings also provide an overarching feeling of angelic awareness and support. As your angelic DNA is activated, it is a crystalline frequency within your light body. We ask you to feel your angelic cosmic DNA and connect to the angelic frequency of light. Simply open your heart to the concept of receiving angelic wings and see what will unfold. Visualize and align to their frequency. Loving blessings, global family of light as we join in unity. Know the angelic kingdom is assisting us. Love you, Light Family, Karen from KarenLithica.com 444, blowing in now. And from Divine Sistar of the Light Carolyn, 144 God Code. Have faith that you are emerging into your power and independence. You are in the process of stabilizing yourself in this new embodiment. This requires removal of what's blocked this stability mentally and emotionally. It is important to trust your choices and keep moving forward into the new and unknown. Help is lighting up the way to go. Receive this help and feel your confidence build for you to continue on the journey back home. You have everything you need and are guided by spirit. Choose yourself and don't give up. Override going back to patterns and addictions of the past that want to drain you. That is all neutralizing for you to rise into the real you. In Jesus Christos name, Amen. God bless you, Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from Divine Brother of the Light Daniel Giamario from Shamanic Astrology Mystery School. Jupiter conjuncts Neptune. The much anticipated exact conjunction of Jupiter with Neptune, April 12th at 7.42 a.m. PDT at 23 degrees 58 minutes Pisces. This is the first Jupiter-Neptune conjunction in Pisces since March 17, 1856. The pattern is every 166 years. The next won't happen until 2188. Their last conjunction at the turning of an astrological age was in 113 BCE, seeding a 166-year period through 54 CE. I feel that the exact conjunction following the influence of Dane Rudyar is the seed point. Like the new moon of the historical 166-year time frame, like any new moon, this conjunction establishes the archetypal pattern for the 166 years to come a Jupiter, Neptune, and Pisces epoch. If the one in 113 BCE was part of the zeitgeist of the transition to the Pisces age, this will be part of the even greater transition occurring now that is of a greater order of magnitude than a shift into the Aquarian age. 1962 through 2034 is a great turning, which also includes the convergence of many timelines, the end of Kali Yuga, the end of the fifth sun of the Mayan calendar, the end of the fourth turning, the sixth mass extinction, as well as the end and beginning of an entire 26,000 year processional cycle. What an amazing time to be alive. Jupiter expands, activates, and amplifies whatever it forms a relationship with. In itself, this characteristic process is neither good nor bad. In the current case, Neptune in Pisces is the recipient. From shamanicastrology.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Jennifer Hoffman. The Jupiter-Neptune conjunction in Pisces happens today, April 12th, 2022. This is a once-in-a-lifetime event. The previous one happened in March 1856. The next one happens in 2188. 
This aspect brings a new spiritual awakening, understanding, and movement. In 1856, there was an interest in spirituality and the other side. The spiritual movement that began then takes a new turn, the embodiment of the divine human. Today, we will see a greater level of spiritual awakening, understanding, and mastery. There is a new focus on energetic sovereignty, intuition, and being multidimensional. We're seeing a renewed interest in self-empowerment over being self-centered. The merging of spirit and material, human and divine, the intersection of our self and self. This is a powerful day and this energy is a clarion call to step confidently into our divinity and integrate it into our humanity so we can truly embody the human-divine partnership. I hope you experience this day as a new embodiment of your own divinity and empower yourself with the knowledge of your divinity. Have clarity about your energetic sovereignty and see it as a milestone in your ascension journey that brings you more joy, peace of mind, heart and spirit, and the unlimited abundance of our benevolent universe. From EnlighteningLife.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Jupiter conjunct Neptune and Pisces, we arrive at one of the most anticipated astrological events of 2022. The great sky god meets the lord of the ocean. The two rulers of Pisces join forces to create an enormous wave. In my mind, I see a giant diving into the pool of the collective unconscious. The seas rush into retreat, gather, rise up, a tidal wave in the psyche rolling towards us. Maybe we are riding high on the joy of a wish granted, the promise of better things to come, the sheer delight of the imagination, the faith we have in our dreams, our vision, hope upon hope. Or maybe our hopes are dashed, the bubble pops, there's great loss, great sorrow, a collective sigh tumbling from mouths drowning in incomprehension, unfathomable we say, just unfathomable. But we've been saying those words for a while or something similar. Maybe now is the time to fathom, to make the connection that we are all connected. As above, so below, so within, so without. One day my tears will become rain that flows as foam, tickling your feet on some far off beach. We are all here on this pale blue dot, floating through space, blessed with the power to save ourselves. Say a prayer to the gods, but remember the gods also live within. Link hands across the planet in your imagination. Chant peace in the name of all things. Peace, peace, peace. From LeahWhitehorse.com and from 13 Moon Peace Time, our galactic signature today is Keen 224, Yellow Electric Seed, the same Keen of this current galactic year. Cosmic History Quote for Moon 10, Day 9, Samadhi is the state of entering prolonged union with the all-abiding reality where there is no thought. We the Secret Dreamers Part 1 Dedicated to all the secret dreamers who await their time when it is safe to come out and play. The varnish of conventionalities which civilization overlays us all with must come off to the last coat and the inner self naked and without the slightest veil to conceal its reality is expressed. We, the secret dreamers, are calling forth an entirely new world. We who have been working for many eons on the inner planes, quietly, steadily, skillfully, clearing, building, shaping, sculpting, we are the ones who aren't so loud, but who prefer to sculpt their inner dream in silence. We know that our images, feelings, thoughts all define the quality of our experience. We, the secret dreamers, know that we are each responsible for the collective creation of all the world we see. We have had glimpses, intonations of this new world, but now is the time to speak it into existence, to give voice to the invisible, so that we may set forth a new vibration into this world of manifestation. We, the secret dreamers, take responsibility for our every word and action. We know that every unselfish act helps raise this vibration bit by bit. As we take responsibility for raising our own inner frequency, then we begin to resonate this increased vibration into the world. With every act, 
however seemingly mundane. Bit by bit, we, the secret dreamers, build and weave the inner temple. We envision the world that we cannot yet articulate, but are now beginning to. We, the secret dreamers, realize that we are responsible for our inner interpretations of reality. We know the importance of expanding our perceptual lens to one that is galactic in nature. From the Avatars of OMA by Red Queen, Keen 185, from 13moonpeacetime.com. Today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 224, Yellow Electric Seed. The number three is called electric and its keywords are activate, service, and bond. The third step of any wave spell is about activating the process. Press the button and let's go. Today is yellow seed. Keywords associated with it are awareness, targeting, and flowering. Yellow seed days are about sharing wisdom and planting ideas. People born on these days are very good at that, but we can all strive to sow awareness. If you have learned a valuable lesson, share it with someone who could benefit from your experience. When you combine the meaning of the number and the day, the result is activate target or service to sowing awareness. To summarize, today is about being on active duty on behalf of light and love. Make it your mission to find a target, either a person or a group, and make them aware of something that will help them grow. If you have knowledge, this is a great day to share it. And from Divine Sister of the Light like Christina Papa Giorgio, Happy Galactic Return, Yellow Electric Seed, 3 Khan, Keen 224, 12th of April 2022, Seeding the New Time, The Seeds Awaken and Ripen, Targeting Service, 12 4 2022 equal 3 4 6 equal 3 10 equal 3 1 equal 4. Day codes 12 acquiring strength wisdom 3 holy trinity triad joy creativity 4 form structure foundation earth angelic month year codes 4 6 heaven christ family romance fertility 10 manifestation power authority 1 new beginnings original unique leader 20 the awakening clear vision 22 architect of peace master builder keen 224 equal 44 equal 8 infinity abundance flow happy galactic return today marks the nine month gestation point of the year of the electric seed congratulations today we are being birthed this is a significant milestone where we have reached maturity and are ready to serve humanity we are rising from the deep dark soil where the seeds were incubating and into the stark sunlight of a new dawn, marking the start of our new golden era. Today is a monumental day in our planetary evolution process. We have a phenomenal alignment of celestial codes, super boosted by the continuous stream of solar flares raining down on us. The Jupiter-Neptune conjunction becomes exact today ready to imbue these germinating seeds with a magic sun kiss from spirit. We have a super stellium lineup of celestial bodies and the spiritually devoted sign of Pisces. Pisces is represented by the fish symbol, which denotes their expression of the Christ consciousness qualities of unconditional love, empathy, compassion, and devoted service to humanity. Pisceans are the most beautiful, gentle souls who are totally committed to their mission. As we approach the Scorpio full moon on April 16th, 2022, our seed packets burst open with the light of the portal. New seeds of awareness, understanding, higher consciousness, and compassion will awaken within us. Whatever has been planted has landed and comes to the fore of our inner standing. This stellar infusion of spiritual light codes is blissing us with divine abundance, good luck, higher love, and ecstatic joy. A beautiful, dreamy combination to set the tone for this wondrous next stage of our journey. We have finally arrived in that marvelous land, somewhere over the rainbow, where skies are blue, and we have fertile new soil to plant our abundant dream seeds for rapid growth and harvesting. This concluding three months of the electric seed year is a very fertile and supportive period, 
boosting our soul connections and accelerating our unified missions. Wonderful news for the traumatized masses to awaken to this beautiful energy of this new dawn. Welcome to New Earth, beautiful star blissens. Keen 224 brings forth a turbo boost from spirit today, a highly charged day to rocket fuel your divine service. Today is day three in the wave spell of Eek, the white wind which appropriately is taking charge of our mainsails and directing our new flow through these benevolent winds of change. White wind holds the intent of spirit, the will of the divine. Communicated through the breath and the whisperings of the white wind, as such spirit has the last word in the blue storm year and has redirected the energies from turbulence and chaos to full steam ahead as the driving force in this new seed energy. Thank God, spirit is in charge. Eek holds the power of spirit and this wave spell encourages us to become hollow vessels for spirit to communicate and work through our being. We are learning to embody spirit. Today we are connecting with spirit to gain absolute clarity on how and where we need to focus our energies in order to grow and be of service to others during this new golden era. Tone of Creation Today's tone is electric. This is another incredible divine gift from our Creator as we have an incredible surge of power to kickstart and drive our divine missions. Get ready to power up and fulfill our destiny. The key word here is to activate. The electric tone brings great power to energize and activate whatever we focus on and wherever we direct this energy. Keen 224 will activate awareness through awakening souls to the truth of our reality and their greater mission, to get ready for more spontaneous awakening in the still sleeping masses. Electric is tone number three in the tone of creation. It is the first of the three emotional realm tones. Thus, there is a very strong emotional charge today which may create outbursts in those who need to find their balance. Electric energy creates a short fuse, particularly in those souls that are confused or not focused on their divine missions. Through focus, these strong energies can be creatively utilized rather than being destructive or chaotic. This energy can be better harvested through the higher aspects of this tone, which encompasses being of service to others through the action of bonding that is coming together with others to co-create and be of service. How positively exciting! Electric energy provides the ignition or spark for your manifestation. It is a current that needs to keep moving and flowing, transmitting energy. It also adds power to anything you are creating today, an extra electrical boost to draw upon. The power of three is derived from two units merging and creating the third, more powerful entity. This action duplicates the essence of bonding and service that the electric tone provides. Today beckons you to become emotionally mature, expand your focus from bonding with one to the joy of bonding with all. Do not become obsessed with romantically coupling. Instead, use the energies from your partnership to serve a greater purpose, which is crucially needed at this juncture in Earth's history. Together with your divine counterpart, offer your united energies to be of divine service to humanity and accelerate our planetary ascension. Today and for the next three months, you should contemplate how you can activate your electrical power to send waves of pure charged energy to uplift and awaken others through your acts of divine planetary service. Aho! Be still, tune in, and think big. Allow spirit to communicate new ideas, technologies, inventions, and solutions never before accessed on this earth plane. A wondrous new world awaits. Today's question is how can I seed my divinely inspired ideas through bonding with others and greater service to humanity? Am I ready to ripen and fully blossom into my highest potential destiny? Divine blessings for your accelerated growth in the direction of your highest potential flowering. Let's get ready to pop. In la catch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 224, Yellow Electric Seed. The mantra, the code for today is, I activate in order to target. Bonding awareness. I seal the input of flowering. 
with the electric tone of service, I am guided by the power of elegance. And on this powerful day of activations, manifestations, and transformations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're experiencing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges on Patreon and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to help support our work and mission in this channel and help us continue to bring these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to thank Divine Sister of the Light, Paula Heigley, for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. We appreciate you and your support. We appreciate all of you that continue to support our work. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal link at eaglelovecondor.com. I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork on Etsy. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. She has a 25% off sale for Mother's Day until May 8th, so be sure to pick your mother up something special and take advantage of this sale. We're going to complete today's transmission with a powerful divine decree from our divine sister of the light, Sandra Walter. My mind is calm, and I enter the sacred stillness effortlessly. I am receptive to divine intelligence and direct my life stream, choices, and experiences from this calm, balanced heart and mind of God. From AscensionPath.com Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed Neptune and Jupiter in conjunction in Pisces. Very powerful time of activations. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and all days the best day ever. The Eagle and the Condor love you all. Namaste.